Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard that came across, somebody posted it on Budget Keeps, and I would not seen this before. Now it does sell under two different names, and one of them is Magic Refiner, which I've seen lately come up, and it seems to be a clone of Ajaz, if I'm not mistaken, but it could be another brand. So. Um, there appears to be you know, a lot of competition, a lot of new things. And this board, it lists on Amazon US for 39 bucks, but it has a 15% off coupon. So before taxes and everything, it comes out to roughly 34 bucks. So it is a 65% that has Bluetooth 5.0 um, and also a 2.4 gigahertz dongle that I believe has USB-C and USB-A. So I saw this and I was like, well, let's take a look is this a worthwhile keyboard now i do know i believe that this keyboard uh for wireless capabilities actually uses um double a batteries i believe and which i find that quite interesting i mean i know most people would be like no i like batteries built in i actually prefer being able to just replace the battery you know in case there's an issue a leakage whatever the case may be but Let's go ahead and jump into it. That they, on the box, it does have a different brand, Z Yu Lang. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong. Uh, I apologize. But um, like I said, it's also listed as Magic Refiner, uh, which I've seen some switches for. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what we've got. And then before the keyboard, we have the accessories. And there's the uh, dongle, which if you pull it out okay it just has two different ends so the dongle itself is in that little piece of plastic right in there but as you can see you can either use it either way and then oh, this, i don't believe what cap over here right now so i'm gonna cap this but so you know for those newer laptops that might only have a usb-c port you don't have to get an adapter um, now it does have a very skinny switch, metal switch puller and plastic keycap puller, which we don't use because they can damage plastic keycaps. All right, we'll go ahead and set that to the side. There is no, there's no cable. Huh. What we have here appears to be a newer version of the tester 68 and I was kind of wondering if that was going to be the case um, it is called a K68 but as you can see we do not have any USB C port we do have a spot where we can put the um, the dongle but we need I did say before I believe we need AAA batteries. Huh. Well, I see no way this dongle would fit in here even without the cap because as you can see it's not even long enough uh, there's no space it's not like there's cavity going in that way so I mean I've got to say off the bat bad all right let me go find some AAA batteries because as they told us always in the 80s batteries not included all right we've got some AAA batteries so we're gonna go ahead pop them in. I guess we'll just set this to the side for right now. Yeah, I mean the light's even in the same spot. So this is uh, I think turning out to be just 
maybe not even a new version, just a different case um, of the tester. Because the lights should be all right here. Yep, all three lights. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. that's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I mean, the color of the PCB, uh, usually, not always, but usually uh, denotes a um, cheaper quality PCB. This one looks like it, oh, this one looks like it does have that cheaper quality um, PCB. Also, it is using Otemu style or Milmax hot swap socket. So this is a keyboard that unfortunately is not, I mean, they may have tried to copy the Tester 68, or this may be like a cheap version of Tester 68 that's been rebranded. I don't know, I really don't know. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check, there's no, uh, so there's no plate and PCB padding. And there also is no case padding. It just goes down into a hollow space. So, off the bat, this is basically going to be a non-recommendation. I, I mean, I personally, I'm going to, I, I, this keyboard is, it's, it's old. <laughs> this may actually have been before the Tester 68. Like, because I mean, the Tester 68 got a lot of things right, but like I said, there's a lot of the design language that's the same. Um, so yeah, so you've got a 65%, um, but it's not gonna sound anywhere near as good as a Tester is gonna sound, uh, just on the dampening alone. Uh, who knows what else, you know, these switches, let me see, the switches are, are Jixian, Jixian? J-I-X-I-A-N, -I -I and I've seen those before, and I believe these are on the same level as, say, Otemu, uh, you know, the cheaper Otemu, the base colors, but, I mean, if you really need, you know, I'd get a Tester 68 and get a converter from USB-A to USB-C rather than get this keyboard for that alone, and these, uh, Definitely need some uh, some oil. So uh, I mean some lube. So to me, this is basically like a like an old Tester 68, but they just updated the dongle to have both USB-C and USB-A connector. Uh, other than that, I mean. I'll do a, a proper sound test here in closing, but uh, I just, I don't believe that this uh, keyboard, um, even for the price, even if it was $15, half the price I paid for it, this keyboard's just not worth it. I mean, yeah, you could open it up and you could do some of the, the modifications yourself, but you're gonna be limited as to what switches you can use. Um, because of the Milmax socket and that they're, they're just that's that's outdated I'm sorry but Milmax Temu hot swap I mean even though Temu is using you know clamp style where you know and they have support for three and five pins because that's how it should be on any PCB yeah, there should not be a switch that doesn't work because the PCB doesn't have you know holes big enough for it and these Milmax, originally, they were meant literally for the legs of, you know, skinny pins to go on PCBs and the legs on, you know, a lot of switches, uh, you know, they tend to be a little bit wider and a little bit stronger, so they can hold on to the PCB better. But anyway, um, yeah, so I would, uh, I, ca I cannot recommend this, this keyboard, I mean... Sure, I could spend some time with it, but like I said, even if it, if it was fifteen dollars, but it wasn't. It was thirty-four dollars. So, um, a Tester sixty-eight, if bought right, should be about twenty to twenty-five dollars, 
and it just sounds much better. It, yes, it doesn't have the, the switches or the keycaps, but it's got the dampening and it's got the availability to use any switch. So I guess there's not much more to say. This is the K68 from Ziyu Lang. Um, does have Bluetooth 5.0 and the 2.4, but it uh, has no RGB. And it's just a, it's not a, not a kit I would recommend anyone get, honestly. There's nothing it offers. So those are my thoughts. I'll go ahead and do a sound test, leave you with that to, so you know what it sounds like stock. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keep more on.